Um, welcome back to Sweet Stuff Sassy Succulents and I wanted to do a potting for you today on um, mounding. A lot of people ask how do you mound your succulents and so I'm going to show you. Okay first of all you need a great pot. I have a really shallow pot right here so I'm going to set that down there and I am going to use some screen door material that you can get at any home improvement store and lay it over the holes in the bottom. To add my soil, I'm going to add a whole lot of soil. You're going to go, there's no room for plants, but there really is because you're going to mound your plants. Okay. Oh, that looks like a lot of dirt, right? Okay, so now let's start getting some succulent. I have this beautiful Echeveria that it's called Ginger Snap. I'm going to have it be my focal point. So I'm taking, so I'm taking all the dirt out and I'm just going to set it right on top of the soil right on top and I'm going to kind of lean it to one side. You don't want to have it right in the center. Okay, now I'm going to put some plants around it. I've got this Calancoli hybrid Baharti and it's really fuzzy so it's going to add a nice texture. I'm no, I don't think I'm going to use all this plant. I do this a lot. I'll just take pieces of it. So I'm just tucking that alongside. I have, here's another plant that I have from another potting, which is your Calancoli, they call it Panda. And it's kind of dirty right now, but um, it's going to look really good too. So I'm going to stick that in there. There's really no front to this. And I'm kind of varying the heights and going down. Um, bush would be great in here. Small leaves. And I may put some around the edge, some of the um, type that trails. And that will be really beautiful. This is the upright version. So I'm just going to add three little areas. You want to plant in odd numbers, three, five, made a triangle here. And we're still just putting these plants right on top of this soil, but I'm just sticking them really close together. Dula tetragona, so I'm going to add that. And I may just tuck that this just right in on the side here. So I'm working my way down. Um, sedum, it's a type of sedum, I can't even read the name. Trelaceae, wow, my pronunciation really sucks. But it's, look at how fat it is. It's really fat. This is what you call a fat plant. Okay, so and there's three of them in here. And I'm just gonna, I'm gonna break these roots off because I don't need all that and they'll grow more roots so don't worry and I'm gonna tuck that right in there so you can kind of see what I'm doing hopefully all right and I'm gonna keep going around some sedum burrito I'm gonna stick that in there that'll trail over nicely I have some um, of this, which is um, a sedum, um, what do they call it, can of beans. So I'm going to tuck that in. And 
I am going to add this uh, type of tricolor jade. Very pretty. And I'm going to, I wish you could see down here, I have a sink and uh, it's quite a mess. I'm just going to tuck that right in there now. Okay, so if I let it go, it's going to fall over. So I need to find something like the Semper Vivum um, arachnoid to tuck in there. And look, it's just this massive mass, 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 mass. So I'm just going to break it apart break it apart pull them apart and look I have whoa I have three so this will be perfect for my planting again because I said to plant in threes or five okay so I'm going to tuck that down below so it's holding up the jade I'm going to keep moving over so I also have I still have so much room I have this Crisula it's very fuzzy, very cool, but I'm not going to use the whole thing. So let's get a piece of it and stick it in here. Sedum that we found. I'm going to tuck that in. If you if you break it, if you break the stem, it's okay because it will grow back. No big deal. Don't worry about it. I have some of this um, calico kitten. I'm gonna take a whole lot of the leaves, or excuse me, a whole lot of the roots off that. And I'm gonna tuck that in and that will trail over nicely. And right now it looks really dirty, my plant. But I have paint brushes that I use. They're great for when you're done. You just brush off all the leaves. Now, I'm not going to water this immediately, especially since some of the plants that I'm using, I'm breaking off. I am going to um, let it set for a couple days and then it will um, let anything that I have cut off, such as some of this trailing elephant bush, the leaves of, I mean, the roots of it, because It'll just take up too much room, so I'm just <laughs> cutting them off. Okay. I'm going to stick that in there. And that'll trail down and look really pretty. So, and I think I'm going to add some on the other side. I think I'm just going to just rip the roots off. and stick it in over here. So I'm going to use some more of this uh, fuzzy calancholi. And I'm gonna tuck it in here. Give it a little, little blow. And where is my cobweb? My arachnoid, they got buried in my sink. So I'm going to tuck one of these. I need to put a little bit of dirt in there. And I'm going to lay it right on top of the soil. Just laying it right on top of the soil. And it will develop roots. No problem. Okay. And, oops, plant fell out. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, let's come over here. And I'm going to add another arachnoid over here to hold this guy up. I mean, excuse me, another area of the trailing elephant bush. Again, I'm just gonna basically almost, it's like a cutting, I'm using a cutting. I'm just leaving just a tiny, tiny bit of root left. And I'm gonna tuck that in over here. Now all these will grow into the soil that I already have in the pot. Here is some um, Cressula string of buttons that will look really great. A different I'm just going to keep putting plants in. 
now where there are little holes and I still have a blank spot sorry I had the pots in the way there's still a blank pot but spot but you can see it's really coming together and see how the center is higher and we've got that we've got that beautiful hybrid Echeveria as the focal point let me get some of these um, seed them out of here and add them down here they will fill a void a lot of people ask me when I plant these plants so full what do you do they're going to grow yes they're plants they're going to grow that's okay so you trim them and you have more plants for another potting and if it gets really out of control to where it looks all gangly and weird looking, just take it apart and start brand new. A uh, garden is always changing, isn't that right? At least my garden is. I want to grab those roots and tuck you in there. We're looking pretty full. We just have a little bit more to go. I may get another Echeveria and add it around the edge. So here's a cutting from my own garden. It's an Echeveria. I'm not sure if it's, I don't think it's Lola, but I'm not sure. It starts with an L, but they're really beautiful. I don't want to take away from the main focal point um, Echeveria, but, and this one won't. It's kind of a, a light color. Okay, so I grabbed just a really generic, subdued rock here. Um, some little different light colors. And I'm just going to put it in some of the areas that I can see some dirt. It's kind of hard to see the dirt through all the plants. And this will help also stabilize the plants. And the roots will grow in and around these little tiny rocks I have in here. So it actually helps keep the soil in when you're watering it. And like I said, I'm going to wait a couple days before I do water it. Okay, let's see. I'm going to give it a brush. Um, this fuzzy Calancoli um, panda bear gets very dirty. I think we are about done. So, there you go. Try to turn it around. Didn't take me very long. So, I hope that this helped you. Um, learn how to mound your plants, lifts them up, makes them look, makes your, your potting look a little more lush and fuller. And don't worry, everything will grow just perfect because we know succulents are really hardy, right? Yeah, we love them. Okay. Okay, well, thanks a whole lot for joining me here at Sweet Stuff Sassy Succulents. And I hope that you ask any questions that you might have about mounding or anything else. And join me on my Facebook page and check out my blog. I appreciate it. Take care.